Welcome back friends from the team of Teach Nagaland. I hope all of you are enjoying our videos and learning from our videos. Do continue to log in for more videos. Now we'll do chapter 12 mathematics class 12 class 12 mathematics sorry chapter 3 exercise 3.2 continuation of the previous videos now today let's do some questions again in the next video only we will be learning about multiplication of matrices so do tune in now question number five the matrix a is given and the matrix b is given then compute the value 3a minus 5b so in that previous video i have discuss on how do we multiply a matrix by a scalar so that will be just three times of two by three one five by three one by three two by three four by three seven by three two two by three minus five times of the second matrix two by five three by five one 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 4 by 5, 7 by 5, 6 by 5, 2 by 5. So, as I had already given to you in the earlier videos, that when you multiply a matrix by any scalar, then the entire elements of the matrix gets multiplied with that by that scalar. So, 3 into 2 by 3. So, I'll not do all the details of multiplication because this is the 12th standard so I believe students will at least be able to do this so 3 into 2 by 3 I'll just do 1 that is 3 into 2 by 3 3 3 cancel we'll have 2 this will be 3 ones are 3 then again 3 into 5 by 3 will be 5 3 into 1 by 3 1 3 into 2 by 3 2 3 into 4 by 5 4 3 into 7 by 3, 7, 3 into 2, 6, 3 into 2 by 3, 2, again, 5 into 2 by 5, 2, 3, 5 into 5, 1, 2, 4, 5 into 7 by 5, 7, 5 into 6 by 5, 6, 5 into 2 by 5, 2. So then when we subtract, we can now we will subtract the corresponding elements again and in <coughs> addition and subtraction 2 minus 2 0 3 minus 3 0 only the corresponding elements okay 5 minus 5 0 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 2 0 4 minus 4 0 7 minus 7 0 6 minus 6 0 2 minus 2 0 so ultimately what do we have we have a zero matrix proceeding question number six simplify this value so again the same concept multiplication of a matrix by a scalar so again if we multiply cos theta into cos theta cos square theta cos theta into sine theta that will be cos theta sine theta cos theta into minus sine theta that is minus cos theta sine theta again cos theta into cos theta cos square theta plus again sine theta sine theta sine square theta minus sine theta cos theta sine theta cos theta sine square theta now addition of matrices so we will add corresponding elements again cos square theta plus sine square theta cos theta sine theta plus minus that will be minus sine theta cos theta minus cos theta sine theta plus sine theta cos theta cos square theta plus sine square theta so cos square theta plus sine square theta from plus 10 math we know it's uh, the trigonometric identity 1 cos theta minus sine theta minus cos theta sine theta 0 this will also be 0 this will be 1 so here we have an identity matrix of order 2 proceeding again to question number 7 this is an algebraic expression in the form of a uh, in matrix so we will use the same concept that we have done in class 10 solving linear equations in two variables just that we have to keep in mind that we are solving matrices where we have to keep 
in track some certain rules and regulations and properties of matrices so now I will just mark this as equation 1 I will mark this as equation 2 in order to save time so now what I'll do first up you're, you're supposed to find out X and Y so first up what I will do is I'll add equation 1 and equation 2 corresponding sides so x plus y plus the corresponding sides x minus y similarly the left right hand sides also that will be the matrices so y y so we have 2x is equal to 7 plus 3 10 0 plus 0 0 i hope you are getting in tune with the addition of matrices by now so i'll divide both sides by 2 uh, so this side also will be 2 so our matrix X will be again so I'll multiply each element by 2 so 10 by 2 0 by 2 2 by 2 8 by 2 so our matrix is going to be 5 0 1 4 so this is our value X and subtracting 1 minus 2 so X plus Y minus x minus y i'll subtract the two matrices 7 0 2 5 sorry this is not the way to write a matrix you have to write it in an arranged manner minus 3 0 0 3 so x plus y minus x plus y equal to subtracting the corresponding elements 4 0 2 2 so we will have here 2y equal to 4 0 2 2 so again dividing both sides by 2 4 0 2 2 so we'll have y equal to we'll multiply each corresponding element by 2 0 by 2 2 by 2 2 by 2 so our matrix y will be 2 0 1 1 so therefore our matrix x is 5 0 1 4 and our matrix y will be 2 0 1 1 so this is the solution to question number um, 7 now proceeding forward to question number 12 question number 12 given to w plus 4 x plus y z plus w 3 we are supposed to find the values of x y z and w so let's just solve this equation directly just to save some time that is i'll just multiply this by 3 so 3x plus 3y plus 3z plus 3w so 3x 3y 3z 3w equal to this again I'll just add directly I'll not write down the question actually we should start by writing down the question at least once but just to save time here I'll just start adding minus 1 plus 2 plus W 2 W plus 3 now from equality of matrices this I we had already done in the previous videos from equality of matrices all the corresponding elements will be same that is 3x plus sorry 3x equal to x plus 4 I'll just solve this one by one so 3x minus x equal to 4 so 2x equal to 4 x will be 4 by 2 that will be 2 I'll just do continue here and next 3y equal to 6 plus x plus y so 3y minus y equal to 6 plus x value we have already calculated x is equal to 2 right so 2y equal to 8 4 so y equal to 8 by 2 that will be 4 again again now before i go for 3z and this two corresponding elements since there are two variables where I, which I have to solve I'll first solve the last corresponding elements at least from there I will be able to get the value of W and that will be easier to get Z so 3W minus 2W equal to 3 that is W equal to 
3 and then finally the third corresponding element 3z equal to minus 1 plus z plus w so that will be 3z minus z equal to minus 1 plus w value we have already calculated w equal to since w equal to 3 so 2z equal to 2z equal to 2 by 2 that is 1 so that's how we have our respective values x as 2 y as 4 w as 3 and z as 1 i hope you have liked this video in the next video we will do multiplication we will learn how we multiply matrices so do tune in and keep in touch with us thank you so much